guys, how's everyone doing today? So first and foremost, I want to say um, thank you guys for giving me, you know, all this time without being able to like film every day like I was because we've just been going through so much in my family with my, everything with my niece's trial and everything else that's been going on and I just decided that, like I've said a hundred times before, if I'm not in that mindset to film and put up a good video, then I'm not going to film at all because I'm not going to come on here and make everybody miserable. I'm not going to come on here and complain about things, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get it. So today's video, one of my subscribers, a beautiful, amazing woman, has sent me this huge package. Now, it's from Shelly and her husband, Roger. There it is right here. And I'm going to show the whole thing because I don't want to show her address. So, Oof. and it is a box full of goodies and makeup. Now, it's just some things that she sent me. Um, because she wanted to, obviously, she knew she didn't have to send me anything, but she did. So I told her I would unbox it on my channel. So she sent me a beautiful letter right here. I didn't want to show it because I don't know if she wanted me to, but it's an absolutely beautiful letter. And I did read it before the video because I opened the package to make it easier to show you guys. So, um, today's video is going to be me unpackaging it. And then tomorrow's video will probably be a full face of makeup going by what it looks like on top. So the very first thing that is in this box is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette right here. And it's just a nice little palette. It's all neutral. It's very beautiful. And I'm excited to try it out. So that's number one. I have a table here next to me to set things on as I go and my phone also so I can talk to her along the way. So um, another item she sent me. Oh, look at this cute little box. Isn't that adorable? So, this I do believe got damaged in the mail, but um, it was a Pixie by Petra Peach Honey Blush. But it did, like I said, get shattered in the mail. So, I'm going to leave that like this, and I will repress it later. Um, I also see these uh, coconut cleansing. Oh, coconut and rose oil cleansing facial wipes, which I actually had something like this before and they smell amazing and I love them. So I'm excited to have these. But this woman, she is so sweet and so caring. She just wanted to basically, she sent me the stuff to cheer me up a little bit because she knew what was going on with my niece and, you know, we've been talking a little bit through texting, whatever. Um, and she's just so sweet. And, you know, it's funny that you can make long time like lifelong friends through something as simple as doing my makeup on YouTube. So um, to go with those wipes there is also the coconut and rose oil face serum. It's a moisturizing serum. It's right here in the box. Which I love that because as you guys know from my last video about skincare I've been using a lot of oils and serums. Things like that. So the next item I'm pulling out here which I do believe this is Japanese or Korean. It's um, Dayum, is, Dayun is the brand, and it is a BB cream. So it says BB Cover Flaw Cream. Smoothness, smoothness white multi-effect repair. So because most of this box is in, you know, like I said, Korean probably, or maybe Japanese, Chinese, I'm not sure, I don't really know. But this is the cutest little CC or BBCC cream ever. It's a little container. It's like a little princess pot. <laughs> so, let's see. Well, it feels nice and smooth and creamy. I just touched it, guys, just to let you know. You can see it's a little bit pale, but this can also be used as a primer. Or I can just warm it up with some bronzer, so it's not even a big deal. But very cool. I'm very excited to try this. It feels really moisturizing, so that's exciting to me. My face can always use some moisture, but that is just adorable. I don't know if my lighting is like blurring it out. Get a little closer. There it is. All right. I'm trying to keep everything in the boxes and nice. All right, so I'm going to pull this bag up. Here we go. So this is, she stored everything in like little bags so that way it didn't like go all over the box and that way she can package it in. And to be honest, I don't know how her and her husband fed it, but um, in this little 
pretty Ipsy bag right here is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream, which I've been wanting to try this forever. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. So I've been wanting to try this forever. Um, I just haven't had the money to purchase it and with everything going on. It's just been a little chaotic for me to do much of anything. So, that has a kind of a strong smell. I should try it out in some dry spots while I'm packaging. That feels really nice though. All right. This I'm really, really excited for. Um, like I said, I've been wanting to try it for a long time, so that's awesome. All right. The next item in here is the Leaf, the True Cream, the Aqua Bomb Cream right here, which I did try this before. This is a nice cream. It's great for at nighttime, like to put on before bed. Anyway, so that's the Belief Aqua Bomb. I love it, and I've used it before quite a few times. I think I used up two samples like that before. The next item is a green tea primer. It says Prep and Protect, and it's vegan. Um, I've never heard of this or used it before. It's by Evio Beauty Group. Great. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. Um, let's see. Ooh. This looks like it might be a pore filling primer. Maybe. Well, it smells really nice. Either pore filling or um, maybe moisturizing. And I think it's moisturizing. It has a really cool texture to it and it actually feels like crazy moisturizing. So that was this item. So I'm going to try to get through here a little quicker. I may not explain everything because I don't want this video to be like 10 years long because there is so much stuff and I'm only on one bag. So the next thing is a moisturizer. It says moisturize with microalgae and it's lavender scented right there. Sorry guys, I'm trying to go through it fast. So the next item is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Lengthen Mascara right here. I don't know if you can see it. Looks really pretty. I love my Wander Beauty one I already have, so I'm sure. I don't know why I always smell mascara. Um, I'm sure I'm going to love this one because, like I said, the other one it was one of my go-tos for so long. That's exciting. And then here is a Ico mascara right here. It says Lash Alert Mascara. Wake up and go. Very cool. I've never tried that, so I can't wait to try it out. The next item in here is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer, which I'm very excited to try that because I've never actually tried the Smashbox Concealer. It's awesome. Uh, the next item is Beauty Insight Duo Highlighters. So it looks like it's a contour and highlight sticks right here. Very cool. The next item here is a Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That looks pretty. I've never used Nude Sticks before either, so there's another brand. So here it is swatched on my hand. That's very pretty, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, then the next thing is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shield. This is a base tape primer. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. All right. Uh, the next item. Oh, when it's all wrapped up. What is this? Wow, that's cool looking. So this is so adorable. It has an eyeliner here. I do believe. And let me see. Let me actually read it. Yeah. And I think it's a liquid liner in the bottom, maybe? Yep, right there. It's actually a liquid liner. That is so adorable. This is by... I can't read the name, but that is the most adorable little eyeliner I've ever seen in my life. And it has a regular eyeliner, and then it has a liquid eyeliner on the bottom. So beautiful. So cute. Alright. So the next item here is... Eye makeup remover, which is awesome because I'm actually out of most of my eye makeup removers, um, or I'm running very low. This kind of, from the heat, it kind of exploded in the packaging a little bit, but everything's fine. Just wipe it up, and it's good to go. So this is abalone or abalone. Anyway, it's an eye makeup remover. Very, very nice, and I can actually get some very good use of that. All right, the next items here are a few eyeliners um, by Beauty and Sight again. Beauty and Sight, Beauty and Sight. These are just like mini eyeliners right here. 
Very cute. One is blue, one is black, and one is a bronzy type color. I can get a lot of use out of them because I'm running low on eyeliners, actually. Um, I got the uh, Bodyography Valley Bronze, which I have one of these, and it's awesome. I love these eyeliners. And then the next one is a, I don't want to pronounce this name right because I always want to say it the wrong way. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner. I always want to say uh, a different word, but it, I think it's like Dulce or Deuce, who knows, but it is a liquid eyeliner and I love the fine point on it. That's amazing and I cannot wait to use this. You guys know, I've said it before, I'm not the greatest on winged liner. So the next item is wrapped up in the packaging here and this is the high definition primer by a company called Red in Black. I've never heard of it or tried it before, but it looks very cool. Uh, it has a pump on it here. Ooh. All right. And this is actually like pink. Um, it's not coming up as pink on camera as it is here, but it's very pink and it's very cool looking. And it looks like it would take down any of the, because I have very olive skin, so it'll take down some of the discoloration I get sometimes. Ooh, dropping stuff. Sorry, guys, I'm running out of room on my desk here. There is so many things in this package. Oh, my goodness. All right, so here's our next item right here. We put out a bubble wrap. This is by a brand, uh, Kaylin. I keep wanting to say Caitlin. It's by a brand Kaylin right there. And it comes with its own little dual, dual ended brush, which just reminds me of the Huda brush for that uh, Tantor. That's what it looks like. So if you guys are familiar with that, you'll be familiar with this brush here. So it has like the little contouring side and then the little blending side on it, which is very cool because I'm a brush fanatic. I love brushes, but I do not have that many. Now I guess I do. <laughs> so when you open this up, oh, it's beautiful. That highlight. I think that's like a cream highlight. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I just touched one of them, but it comes with a, it comes with a primer on this side, a finishing powder on this side and some contour highlight and literally a highlighter right here which I just touched. Very cool. I'm very excited to try this. This might be a new staple in my everyday contour and bronzing game, you know. So the next thing I'm seeing here is a BoxyCharm brush set and it came in this cute little BoxyCharm bag which I actually missed out on all this when <clears throat> uh, BoxyCharm did this. I missed out on that mom. I think they gave them then, and they also had them in the charm room, so maybe from the charm room also. But they have these nice little brush shields on them. Oh, look at that. You know what this reminds me of? The bronzing brush I've wanted for, like, ever from Morphe. That, you know what I mean? Like, it's perfect for bronzing. That is amazing, and I am so excited for that brush. Check that. All right, so I'm going to set these aside. Then there's um, three more brushes here. <laughs> Um, pull the bottoms off, <clears throat> pull the tops off. So there's a uh, foundation brush. They don't really say what they're for, but these are like more. This is like a mini of that other brush I just showed you. And like, this is like a angled contour one. They're so soft and nice. I can't wait to try these out. I'm very excited about them. Get the protectors with them. Next item. Let's see. So there's this here, little package, so cute, the way that she packaged everything in bubble wrap. Everything was protected. This is the Real Her Playbook. Sorry, I got a gnat in here. Wonderful. This is the Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette. It looks like number two. I mean, I honestly, it looks like the Gemini symbol, but I'm pretty sure they didn't do a Gemini palette, so... So it says paraben-free, uh, certified cruelty-free. Natural ingredients, vegan, long wear, sulfate free, that's amazing. So this is the actual palette right here. And when you open it up, it has a little protector on there, right there. So it's hard to see it a little bit for you, but it's a beautiful palette. It's a nice neutral, like a palette I could use every day on my way out the door and get a quick, beautiful eye look at it. So I'm so excited about that. Set this down here. Uh, the next item I'm pulling out is the... Tarte Dream Big Amazonian Clay Palette, which I've never used a Tarte palette, honestly. I have a Too Faced one, but not Tarte. 
So here's the palette itself. It's very reflective. I don't want to blind you, so I'm going to stop doing that. And then it has some beautiful neutral colors in there, right there. And it has a little protector over it, so that's why I'm not um, pulling that up. So there's that palette, which is very hard to show you on camera because it is so bright. Beautiful. Oh my, I, I cannot believe how much she sent me. This is like absolutely amazing. So, um, let's see. We have some shadow shields right here. Two different packages of them. Which everybody knows you put them underneath your eye. You do your makeup, pull it off, and your makeup underneath isn't destroyed. That's beautiful, and I'm excited about them. Um, I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, I think it is. Yep. Ooh, blush sample, and this is in the shade Exposed right here. Then there's a few little items in here. It's all in this very beautiful and cute Ipsy Lemonade bag that is adorable. <laughs> um, so inside here with that Tarte blush is a IBY Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighter. It's beautiful, which I'm sure I will get plenty of use out of. Oh yeah, definitely. That is like a beautiful golden pink, very reflective, it's gorgeous, that's what it looks like. So excited. Then I have the Luna by Luna highlighter, which I have one of these, I'm not sure if it's the same shade, but I know that I love that one, so I'll love this one too, if it's not the exact one. There it is swatched right there. Alright, I have a, another Luna by Luna, this is a translucent powder, wow. I've never tried anything like that from them, so let me see what this looks like. Oh, it's really nice and, like, even though it's pressed, it's very finely milled. You can see it, like, right here. And it has a little bit of luminosity to it, which I like for the around my perimeters of my face. Very cool. Then I have a Pure Skin Perfecting Powder, which I don't, I think it's a highlight. Yep, it's called Afterglow, so it's probably a highlight which you can see right here. It's in a little packaging. I can put this in my little palette I have here. Ooh, you can see on my finger. Oh, it's too reflective. It's so pretty. There you go. I swatched it up. Oh, where is it? Right there. Very pretty highlighter. Very excited about that. Then I have a Luna by Luna eyeshadow in a gorgeous bronzy color right there. Then a little eyeshadow trio. It's called the Metallic Eyeshadow Trio in the shade shades Mykonos, which is gorgeous right here. Very pretty, very exciting. That's pretty. All right. Ooh. The next item I'm pulling up here is from Sugar, and this is the Contour Mini Highlighter and Champagne Champion. Oh, little coverage came off of it. That looks gorgeous. I love a nice champagne-y highlight. Where am I going to put it? Down the side of my hand? Alright, so here it is right there. It's gorgeous and I just swatched it on my hand right over here. So there's another beautiful shade. I'm excited about that one. I've never used anything by Sugar. I have so many new items here that I've never used anything from that brand that I'm like extremely excited. I'm actually overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't get over how much this woman sent me. She, her and her husband are the sweetest people. They really are. Alright, so this, I've personally never used an Ofra highlighter. I have dupes for them from what I've seen, but I've never personally used one. And she sent me the Ofra highlight in the shade Star Island. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like the most amazing, beautiful, golden highlighter right there. It my lights are going to wash it out. There you go. It is like a very light golden, which my face looks pale now, but if you look at my skin tone, like I'm actually pretty dark. This is just because I've been using foundation with sunblock, so that's why my face is so pale. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Like, everything's going to wash that out. It's so bright. Let's see, there you go. So I just swatched it right there. It's beautiful. It's like one of the most opaque highlighters I have on me right now, which I have a lot. My whole arm and hand glow. <laughs> Um, the next item is by Laura Sanchez, and it's from her Moods palette. It's the minis right here. Um, I think they might be the same shade, but they look like a very 
they got brownish shade. So let me see. Yes. So I could probably, honestly, once my makeup's all done, use this as a contour or, um, let me see. Never mind, that's very pigmented. I don't know if I can get away with that. Um, let me see, swatch in my darker spots. Oh yeah, I might be able to get away with that as a contour if I do it very lightly. Yeah, I could. And, um, I mean, it's an eyeshadow, so it's a beautiful transition, like a deeper transition to make a nice smoky eye. Very excited, and like I said, I think they're both the same shade. That's so cute. Little crystal ball is adorable. Yes, very cute, very adorable. And I love the little crystal ball. All right. Oh, I, I really don't even know where to start here. Like I'm going and going, and I like made a little dent in this package, but not all the way. Oh my goodness. So these are adorable little mermaid tail brushes right here. So cute. They look like um like shadow, like uh, shader brushes for packing on eyeshadow. So adorable. And then I have these two little gorgeous <laughs> glittery eyeshadow brushes right here. They are so adorable. I cannot wait to try all these brushes. I'm so excited. They're gorgeous. These back in here. I don't wanna mess them up. This is the Heavenly Skin it Cosmetics Foundation Brush. And oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. I have never in my life used an It Cosmetics brush. I don't normally buy things like that because I normally, honestly, I can't afford them. Um, but she was so kind because she had two of these to send me one. And it's just beautiful and I cannot wait to try it out. It's a gorgeous pure white brush. <laughs> it has a little protector with it and I cannot wait to try it. I mean, I know I keep saying that, but I really like, it's made my day. It made my month. Seeing that somebody cares this much really, really made my mom. <sighs> All right, next area. So I think I'm going to continue with brushes right now because there seems to be a very lot of them and I can really use them, so I'm so excited about that. Sorry, my hubby is texting me. So this is a by Aze. Aisling Organics and it is another brush. It is a dual ended brush. I don't want to pull it out and, and uh, lose it, but there it is right there. I'm just worried about messing anything up before I get to try it or messing anything up in general, honestly. Here is a e.l.f. blending brush right here. Um, here's two more little detail. One looks like an eyebrow uh, brush and one looks like an eyeliner. Yep, brown liner brushes right there. So cute. And <laughs> These ones with the really pretty, oh my goodness, the, the handles, the stuff actually moves inside these handles. Look at that. Is that not adorable? <laughs> and then we have some more, not mermaids, but they like resemble them, maybe magic wand looking brushes here. These ones are eye brushes. These look like face brushes. And here's two more of those ones, which are eye brushes. So adorable. Oh my goodness. Shelly, you crack me up. You really do. You are one of the most amazing people in the world, I swear. There's two more. These are dual ended brushes, which I actually don't, I have like one dual ended brush, which is very convenient. They're really good for traveling. Um, then I have a full set of Farrah brushes right here. These are all eyeshadow brushes. And then here is the matching face brushes, it looks like. Oh my goodness. And then there's another really pretty brush right here in the middle. And then we have some lip liners. There's four in this package right here. And they are really pretty pink and like reddish and burgundy shade liners, which I actually really need it because I only have brown liners and to wear red lipstick and everything. I desperately needed them, so that's amazing. Thank you for that also. Um, we still have like a quarter of this package to go and I'm 20 something minutes in. Here is a Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray, which is very good. We talked about that. Um, the setting spray, she wanted to make sure I had enough to do a whole face of makeup with this. And this is not at my request. This is what she, she wanted to put in this box. All right, guys, my camera cut off on me, and I had to adjust some things here. So the next part of this package, as if this isn't enough, <laughs> is another eyeshadow palette. It's a very cute little hard candy palette. It looks beautiful. They're all rose, it says rose gold eyes. So very pretty, very excited. All right, 
There's another little Ipsy bag in here. We have a few more package things here. I don't even know if we're going to get through this on one video. All right, so this one here, when I just open it, this has quite a few little things in here. There's the uh, Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, which I've never tried. It looks like it's about my shade. We have the Han Handaya Holographic Lip Gloss, which I don't want to keep opening everything and then um, make the video twice as long. So this is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Pinna. And then a Josa Colors Lipstick in the shade Rosebud which I've never tried Dosa Colors either. And then we have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Conceal Palette, which is a nice little color correcting palette right here. I'm gonna put that back in there. I'm gonna set that back down. Sorry, I'm trying to rush through a little bit of the rest of this so we were not gonna go forever. Um, we're gonna move on to this here, which is a whole package of lipsticks. So I'm not going to go through every individual lipstick because there looks like there's a lot in here. Um, I mean, there's some. I see some Tarte right off the bat. I see another Tarte right here. Um, there's a Smashbox, which is a cute little mini. It's so cute. Look at that little thing. <laughs> that is adorable. It really is. Well, oh, it's a pretty little shade. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a pretty little natural shade. I don't know if you can see it on my hand right there. There's a little tiny one, so it's so cute. <laughs> um, there is a Steve Laurent lipstick in here. I do believe it's like the one I have, a different color. It's in the shade Lilac, so it's like a pinky purple, very pretty. And there's so many in here. There's an O for it uh, in the shade Verona, which you guys all know I like. I use one that exact color all the time. Um, and there's, there's a few little different ones in here. Here's a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in... Is it... I can't read that. Oh my goodness, Ludwig. So that's a really pretty shade. I can't wait to try that one too. And yeah, it's like seriously a whole bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses. So I'm going to spare you guys me showing every single one, even though I love seeing stuff like that. Um, then we have just a few little other items in here. Let me open this one. Here's the IBY Beauty and the Laura Geller. I do believe these are eyeshadow. Yeah, eyeshadow palettes. So cute. Right here. There's this little trio, which is adorable. That's the Iconic, or IBY. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying Iconic. Oh, that's just Iconic on it. Um, this is the IBY Beauty Eyeshadow Trio. It's called Three's Company. That's adorable. Um, the Laura Geller Downtown Cools Eyeshadow Palette. It's the Iconic New York Collection, which is adorable. Which is three little shades right here. Very pretty. I never used the Laura Geller eyeshadow either. There's a lot of firsts in here for me. Then we got the Eva NYC Zero Gravity Volume Powder. I do with this for hair. Yep, creates texture and everything for your hair. Oh, the box just ripped. I do not like when that happens. So yeah, we have that right there, which I've never used. Can't wait to try it. We have some little um, makeup wedges for putting on makeup. We have this beautiful little mirror, adorable, I don't want to show the whole thing because it will definitely blind you on the other side. There's a beautiful little handheld mirror, which I don't have. I have my little mirror I keep right here, but I never had like, the little tiny hand mirror, so very cute and I like it a lot. And there is a gold gel face mask, which is very cool right here, and then a... I had a little issue with powder sporting, but that's from the mailman. Um, an e.l.f. HD setting powder and a nice little um, uh, brush holder. I don't know why that just drew a blank. This is where the powder went nuts on me. So, packaging, I'll tell you what, my mailman, doesn't, my mailman does not care about packages in any way, shape, or form. He will smash them. He does not care, so I have to be very careful. I actually try to pick it up at the post office if I can, but because yesterday was a holiday, I could not do that. So, there we go. Wipe that out. Here we go, right here. Um, it's a very pretty little brush holder, which I'm going to put all of my new brushes in if they will fit, if that's even possible. And we have one more little package. Right. And sorry, my head's cut off a little bit. The last 
the last package I have here is a few perfumes. Um, I have this Hoka in the shade, I mean, in the scent Maya. Let's see. It says like different packaging. So it's a little Toka roller ball right there. And let's see. Oh yeah, it smells it smells amazing. And then I have the Wild Spirit First Snow Lotion. It's a hand lotion right here. It looks beautiful in the packaging. I have a Wild Spirit First Snow perfume right here, which smells amazing. I can smell it in the packaging, it smells so good. And then here's the Wild Spirit First Snow, um, looks like a, another perfume bottle. Yes, oh my goodness, don't cut me off again. Um, I was just getting ready to say, here, smell this, because it smells good, like you guys can smell it through the camera. Anyway, so there's one more little perfume in here, and then I am done with this package. Oh my goodness, it took forever. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. And it's also Wild Spirit Rosy Glow, and this little one, Reminds me of a perfume I used to wear mixed with my childhood, like my mother's smell. The um, Remember the perfume? It was called like Electric or something, and it had the red and green spiral tubies inside of it. It was like the coolest perfume ever back in like the early 90s, maybe late 80s. Um, everybody had it. Like this kind of smells like that a little tiny bit mixed with this perfume I've not been able to find in so long. So I don't even remember the name of the smell. I think it was called Hot. God, this smells so good. All right, I'm done with that. Uh, I could smell it all day, so me and perfumes are like that, you know. So anyway, uh, tomorrow's video will be me trying out so many new products and brushes. Um, thank you so much, Shelly and Roger. You guys are so amazing to send me all of this amazing stuff. I mean, you are amazing people in general before you guys sent me this stuff, but I mean, it is like, it honestly means the world to me. And I have a hard time reacting to people giving me things. It's just, I don't know how to describe it, but um, I know a lot of others are like that also. So I hope that I didn't seem underwhelmed in any way because I am like over the moon overwhelmed. And I appreciate everything that you guys have sent to me and every conversation we've had. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are having an absolutely amazing day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Maybe my face will match my body. <laughs> Bye, guys.